from Owen Field in Norman, Oklahoma. It's the annual shootout between the Cornhuskers of Nebraska and the Sooners of Oklahoma. This ABC Sports exclusive. And here come the Nebraska Cornhuskers onto the field at Owen Field, Norman, Oklahoma. On the unfriendly ground today, it was a year ago in Lincoln, Nebraska, that the Sooners came from behind to hit the Cornhuskers and let it 20 to 17. And here come the Sooners. fans on here today to watch this big battle, the one they wait for every year. The deep men now are Curtis Craig on the far side and Kenny Brown on the near side. And here we go. We're underway. It's a high kick with the wind behind it, and it's taken by Curtis Craig. He decides not to run it out, and a good look at them individually. Tom Sorley, the quarterback. Dodie Donnell, a blocking back, but the fullback in the backfield. I am hip, the great speedster. And Curtis Craig, the wing back. Then we have Timmy Smith, the split end. And the tight end, Ken Spade. First and ten on the 20-yard line. What a back is Sorley. Gives to the second man, through, And boy, he is colored. I am hip is hit by Richard Murray. Whoop. And the offensive line ahead of the backfield. It will be Kelvin Clark, left tackle. The guard will be Craig Jorgensen, co-captain. All-American Tom Davis is the center. Watch him today. Steve Lindquist, guard on the right side, and tackle Stan Waldemore. It's second down, eight yards to go. The Huskers in possession of the football. We've just begun from Norman, Oklahoma, on a brilliant, sunshiny day. Long count by Sorley. Pitches back. Hit again. It's cut down the 24-yard line in a swarming tackle. Darrell Hunt, number 85. Now the Oklahoma defense, very much in evidence. Bruce Tate, Dave Hutchins, Richie Kinlaw, Richard Murray, and Reggie Mathis. We have Cumby and Hunt. Two very tough guys behind there, and then the defensive secondary. All right, a key third down coming up. Third down and three for the Huskers. Throughout a long three, three and a half is closer to it. In motion. Ball is given a hip on the pitch back. He gets it up over the 34-yard line. The formation of power sweep, which is a base play. With a third down and 15 for the Huskers on their own 14-yard line. On a delay, the draw goes to I am hip and he is out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. He's stiff win coming out of the north. Right in his face. Freddie Nixon, the single safety back. A beautiful high spiral coming back to the 31. Nixon grabs it there. And the uh, Huskers, because of the long hang time on that kick, are down there knocking down. Of Oklahoma, Thomas Locke, their nifty quarterback. Elvis Peacock, the left halfback. Billy Sims on the right side. And the fullback is Kenny King. Up front, Steve Rhodes, the split end, and a tough customer of the tight end, Victor Hicks. All right, in case you've just joined us, Nebraska had the opening sequence, a 15-yard penalty cost them, and they had to punt. Now, Oklahoma for the first time. Oh, look at that hole as Elvis Peek on the cross field. Twilight. Jaime Melendez, the guard. Paul Tabor, the center. Greg Roberts. The right guard. And Sam Clappett, the right tackle. 13 yard pickup as Elvis Peacock blasts through, making it a first down on the 47 yard line. Outside goes Billy Sims at midfield. He is bear hug. Larry Velocic had a hard time bringing him down. On the defensive line of Nebraska, a closer look at them. Tony Samuel, Barney Cotton, Odious Lee, Randy Peschel, and George Andrews. Then behind them, Tom Baring and Lee Koontz with Harvey, Pillen, Velasic, and Anderson. All right, it's second out. About eight yards to go. Just short of midfield. There is no score between Oklahoma and Nebraska. Middle of the line, stopping that play. 
Thomas Lott keeps it, ducks inside, fumble. Falls wildly loose at the midfield strike, and it is covered by Oklahoma. So here's the punting situation. Don Shaman getting a hard to handle kickoff. It's taken right on the play at the 13 by Kenny Brown. Ooh, and down he goes. From 11 minutes and 8 seconds to go in the first quarter from North. Rocky Loken has gone in at split end for Timmy Smith. Cody Donnell is the near back. He gets the ball and he is hit. Just about the moment he gets the ball. The ball is on the 20 yard line. Smith is back in now in place of Rocky Loken. Split end. Pitch back. I am hit. Roy wiggles through not much of an opening over there. He played. Third down and a yard and a half. The ball goes to hit. Oh, he is crunched. I don't know that he made it. Well, there's a pretty good look at how even these two teams are coming into this ball game. Both ground oriented. We have yet to see a pass in this game. 9.45 to go. First quarter, no score. Cody Donnell, the fullback, grinds it up to the 34 yard line. Second down and a short five. Quarterback is still Tom Sorna. And now for the first pass of the ball game, Sorley way too high, and it goes to Zach Anderson. He intercepts it at the 38 and carries it back to the 44-yard line. Zach Anderson once again, the free safety. So the first turnover of the ball game results in the Sooners getting the football at the 44. No score. There goes Peacock again, opening at the second down, about four. Sixteen hundred, uh, six hundred yards in Russia. Good reaction by the defense. Nebraska in the white jersey. Kenny King starting out in motion. Head off right through the middle, and it's El is Peacock getting him over the forty-yard line and third down and three. The ball is on the thirty-eight-yard line of Nebraska. Todd keeps oh, and he is hit hard by Larry Velocity. A loss on the play of two yards. Here's a field goal attempt by Von Schaumann, 57 yards, and it picks up a little bit of steam, but it's going to be way short, even with the wind to his back. Here on your screen, he has just gone in the lineup as the eye back, replacing I am hip. He's more of a slashing kind of runner, but perhaps a little bit more powerful on the inside. We'll see if the strategy changes here. They pitch back to him. There's the hole, and he is upended after a four-yard game. That Gumby is tough. Second down, about six. There's the pitch to Burns, and once again, he gets over the 30-yard line. The first down now for the Cornhuskers. No score. First quarter. Five minutes and 45 seconds to go. Oklahoma and Nebraska. Shoot out number seven. And once again, the Huskers open up a hole, and it's Bonnie Anthony, who's pretty impressive when you take a look at how the eye backs are have done very powerful formation second down about four pitch back to burns but it closes look at that he shrugged off the initial hit and at least got the ball back to the line of scrimmage made round third down in a short yard key play and burns gets the first down easily from their 20 out to the 47 yard line first down and 10. Jab step by Barney Anthony. A good change of direction gets the ball into Sooner territory. Second down, about two. Pitch back goes to Burns. Goes outside, has the speed, and he has the power to get the first down. It's another first down for the Cornhuskers. They're moving now in Sooner territory at the 40. There is no score. We have 320 to go in the first quarter. Inside handoff. A nice play to Curtis Craig. And he fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Oklahoma. Darrell Hunt. Made the hit. Who got the ball? All right, it's Thomas Lott, the quarterback. Elvis Peacock, King and Sims. Huh? Here's Lott, a little quick pass over the line. It's Bobby Kimball, number 21, and he gets to the 41-yard line, short of the first down. And Lott is caught, but now he wiggles loose. He gets the first down. He's at the 40. He's cut down at the 37 yard line. All right, here we go. First down. 
And it's Elvis Peacock getting it down to the 34 yard line. Out of your picture. Out to the right side. Second down and eight. Inside they go, and down goes the ball carrier. Ball is on the 33. There's no score. 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Oklahoma on the attack in Nebraska territory. Another quick one. And it's Bobby Kimball, who's got the ball on the 29-yard line. Randy Anderson bringing him down. Turn that ball over. They've been playing flawless ball so far. First and ten. Second man through. What a hold as Elvis Peacock spins to the 15-yard line. Now 13 seconds to go in the first quarter. 10 seconds to go. The ball in the 15. First and 10. Sims in motion. They fake the handoff. Rock keeps it. Cuts inside. Still in his feet. Goes to the three-yard line. First and goal to go. As Odious Lee saved the touchdown. That's going to delight the fans in the north part of the end zone because the first quarter ends and they will go to the opposite end of the field. So, at the end of the first 15 minutes, it's soon as the Oklahoma nothing, the Cornhuskers up the basket, nothing back up, out wide to the right. Those Sims, just at the top of your picture. Thomas Lott, the quarterback. First and goal, on the two and a half. Peacock gets it, touchdown! And oranges are pelted all over that field in that north end zone. <laughs> A slight delay here to get the orange peelings off the gridiron. And a tally. And Thomas gets the score. 43 out of 43, and that sets an all-time Oklahoma record. Goes to the Rose Bowl. All right, here's Von Schaumann's kick into the wind. It's a high floater. Not very far. Comes down to the 11-yard line. Taken by Kenny Brown. Ooh, as he hit it for 17. Driven all the way back to the 10. First and 10 for the Huskers. On their own 17-yard line. They're trailing now. 7 0 nothing. second quarter. We're only seven seconds into the quarter. Here comes Ian Hip, and he's wrestled out from behind. A one-yard loss. George Cumbie. Second down and 11. Chris Cross. At the 45 yard line. Out of bounds goes Curtis Craig. And I believe they're going to call it back at the 45. He's still. Craig is up on the wing. Sorley handing it off to I am Hip. Second quarter, 13 minutes to go in the first half. Hip starts in motion. Sorley keeps it. Bucks heads at the 44-yard line, and down he goes. Second quarter. The Sooners drove 65 yards in eight plays. Elvis Peacock going in for the score. Sorting. Hands it off to Domino. Then he goes through a big hole in the line, getting down to the 28-yard line. First and 10. 29-yard line. Huskers have it. Their earlier drive forward on a fumble. Diagnosed that time by Richard Murray. With the Huskers trailing 7 0. A lot of heavy hitting in the middle of the line. The play goes nowhere. 11 minutes to go. First half. Here's Sorley back to pass. His first pass was intercepted. This one is incomplete. The season for field goals. This one's going to be way short. So, the Sooner defense rises to the occasion where it looked like Nebraska had the momentum going. Stop, field goal missed, and so with 10.51 to go. In the first half, the Sooners take over the football, leading 7 0. First and 10. Now, oh, again, a couple on the play as a line, by the way, and it could wear them down even more. You mean weight wise? Yes, sir. Ooh. Well, it's third down and about a foot. Take a first and ten for Oklahoma. 
Central Time, Army Navy at 4 o'clock. And then you will see live coverage throughout the afternoon. Texas. Breaking loose now as Billy Sims gets to the outside against the midfield. Billy Sims with that great bursting speed. Oklahoma is leading the game 7 0. We're in the second period, nine minutes to go. Lock keeps, ducks inside, gets to the 46 yard line, down on the 45, 35. But then Oklahoma took the ball, rambled 65 yards for the score. Peacock stopped. That was the classic first goal in the backfield. Third down and two. Lock keeps, stumbles ahead, gets his first down. Oh, he's remarkable. The Huskers of Nebraska. Oh, down he goes. A couple of times here today. Second down and about 13. The Sooners have the ball. They have the lead. Seven to nothing. Oh, and he goes for the long one to the sidelines. It is incomplete. Third down and 13. Oklahoma now. Bach pitches that just in time. Down to the 35 goes Billy Sim. Oklahoma leading. Seven to nothing. 6.38 to go. First half. Peacock in motion. Lot takes, ducks inside the hole. He stretches for the first down. Tom Deering, number 47, grabbed him. So the thrillers that have been played between these two great teams. 6.24 to go now. First down as Lot takes it, pitches out, a perfect pitch. And it's Elvis Peacock who is down inside the 15-yard line. With a broken bone in the backfield. With that wing back up, Lot takes it to the five, grinds it to the two. He's even got power. That's how far he has gone today on 12 rushes, 67 yards. And off the peacock, he dives into the end zone. It's another touchdown for the Sooners of Oklahoma. Well, they are awesome. I'll tell you, that Nebraska defense, you point out, has been just playing their hearts out. But, well, how can you defend a quarterback, a fullback, and two great running backs with speed? Boy, and then that lot, Thomas Lott, what a wishbone quarterback he is. A runner, a faker, a passer, you name it. There's Tom Osborne, the head coach of Nebraska. His Nebraska coach, Huskers, have, uh, while he's been the head coach, have not been able to beat Oklahoma. And I'll tell you, from what we've seen so far today, it's going to be an uphill battle. It's 13 to nothing so far. And we have five minutes and 42 seconds to go in the first half. Ruben Von Schaumann, who set a record with his extra point on the first one today, was 43 out of 43. This will be his 44th attempt of the season. And he is still batting a thousand. I think he might have gotten hurt. <laughs> Well, it sounds like that, thing, it is. Here's a long kick going into the end zone and out of the field of play. Hard as well for any more that slashing type runner. Here he goes. Oh, boy, at that time he was stopped by Sherwood Taylor, number 31. Oklahoma out in front, showing some fine power. 14 to nothing. One long drive of 65 yards. And another one carried down to the end zone to Tom Sorley. up going through his body Anthony to the 35 yard line oh, that hit. wow all right here's Sorley on a screen but Burns gets to the 40 but he's missed at the 42 and he's knocked down at the 45 yard line by Bumble complete at the 44 yard line Ken Spate the tight end and the ball is on the 44 yard line just off the 44 Three minutes, 37 seconds to go. Following it down to the 38-yard line. Second down and four. Oh, wide open is, Kurt, is Kenny Brown, and he's out of bounds at the one-yard line. That was so well faked into the center of the line. It looked like Rick Burns was hit. See that one again. Oh, wow. Here it is now, both the tight end Spade and now Kenny Brown, they cross the field right there. Kenny Brown is wide open. How could he be that way? Oh, what kind of coverage was it, Rick? Gosh, I'll tell you, it was difficult for me to tell. 
First and goal to go on the two-yard line. Two minutes and 55 seconds to go in the first half, and the Huskers have exploded here. And it is just, it's a touchdown. Rick Burns got it close and made that last stretch over the chalk stripe to put it in. And so, the Cardinal Huskers come roaring back. Bill, we've got a ball game on our hands because really the only thing to stop Nebraska has been themselves with the interceptions and the fumbles. 27 out of 32 this year. It is good. And that perks up the spirits of the Huskers. We have two minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first half, and Nebraska has struck Oklahoma right number two or three, depending upon which bowl you like to follow. Here's the boot. Overstreet is back. Takes it to the end zone. Sides up to run it up. At least they hope to. Overstreet has stayed in the lineup for Billy Sims, number 22. Here's it. Watt back to pass. Sides to run. Goes to the 25. Goes to the 30. Sprints to the outside. And he is out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Hey. Two weeks in a row now, our viewers have seen two great quarterbacks, Rod Gerald and Thomas Mark. Oh, there's the way to hit. The ball game here. The 57th in a long and tough rivalry. Inside, maybe a yard. Third down. Eight to go. At the bottom of the 48-yard line. Out. Nebraska on the nice draw play. It's deep up to the hole. 12 yards and a first down. Over Ohio State. Talk about winning the big ones. Our hats off to you, Al. Thomas Lott pulled out on the 35. First half. Clock running. As you can see, Oklahoma's on top, 14 to 7. But they had a 14 to nothing lead, and the Sooners came back. All right, Lott goes for the long one. It's a wobbly pass. It is incomplete. Two men covering on the play. Sooners leading it 14 to 7. There's a big hole for Kenny King. Well, he doesn't get it to the middle of the field, but he gets it down there close. 18 yard line, 47 seconds to go. The clock is moving. Oklahoma leading 14 to 7. We're coming to the end of the first half. Here's Lott, ducks inside. Opening closes, but he still gets it to the 11 yard line. It's second down and three. The ball is on the 13 yard line. Here's Lott. He goes for the corner. He's got a touchdown. Well, I can't say that the fans go bananas because they go orange. Oh, <laughs> well, there it is. Thomas Lott riding Kenny King. There's no one there. He just takes the football in. He could have walked in from there. Great blocking, great faking. And he's great for three on the day as this one goes up. And it's 21 to 7. That's Thomas Lott. He wears that uh, silk bandana over his head. That's kind of a trademark of his. And the Sooner Spooner comes out onto the field, as they do after every touchdown. There it is. Also, that game of last year. There's kind of an onside squib kick by the Sooners that goes out of bounds. They'd rather have the ball at the 37-yard line. Randy Garcia is now the quarterback, number 18 for the Cornhuskers. He's capable of that big, long bomb. Goes down the middle, drills it in there at the 43-yard line. It's Kenny Brown, and that will stop the clock. 21 seconds to go. Nebraska has the ball. With a first and 10 on the 42. Sideliner, it is overthrown. Simchek has checked in as the defense fan number 45 for the Sooners. Second down, big throw. Garcia always hit hard at the 43-yard line as he tries to unload the ball. Is it going to be a fumble? Oh, what a interception. Five seconds to go in the first half. Time for this one play. Boy, Zach Evans back there roaming around. Garcia, lots of time, and he spirals a long one down the sidelines. It is incomplete. Clock runs out. Rocky Loken back there. And there was Zach Henderson, number 19, just like I said, that free safety. So, the end of the first round, and it is the Bruners 21 on the Husker 7. We'll be back 
with the Fireman's Fund flashback and other halftime activities right after this word from one of our sponsors. The halftime score is Oklahoma 21, Nebraska 7. Let's take a look at how things went statistically in the first half, Rick. Well, Bill, really, there's not much difference in the statistics. The difference to me in this football game are the two turnovers by Nebraska, the interception and the fumble, which stopped them. Getting ready to boot, and we're just about ready to get underway as the shadows lengthen here in Norman. Good kick, solid, deep, out of the field of play. All right, it's Thomas Clark, the quarterback. In the wishbone behind him is Kenny King and Wilson. And off to Peacock, and there's the first play of the ball game, repeated as the first play of the second half. Hover there, number nine on your screen. He's gone in the lineup. Breaking through is Kenny King. First down. First down. Pitch back goes to Billy Sims. Outside, he swings to the 40. Goes to the 42, spun out of bounds. Ball is on the 42-yard line, second and five. Sooners in the dark red uniforms, Nebraska in white. Here's Locke, finds the hole, belted at the ground, and the 49-yard line has gone in. Split to the left side this time. And it's Billy Sims. You know, maybe he's gotten himself up for this game, knowing that Tom Davis is on the other side, right? Ooh. Oh, good ball. Not much there. Fumble. Wild scramble for the ball. Recovered by Nebraska. There's the break. There's the break that uh, Rick Forzano said earlier that Nebraska had to play for. Tony Samuel. Sorry, pitches back to I.M. Hip. Goes outside. Gets to the 43. Zach Henderson leads three others over there. And Mike Babb goes out of the lineup limping. Number 14. Defensive back. Darrell Ray is in in place of it. A lot of traffic in the middle and not much on the game. Exactly 12 minutes to go. Third quarter. Third down and two. The Huskers have the ball in an all-important situation for them. They're down by 14. Close to a first down. No question about what they're going to do. Sorely asking for quiet. <laughs> Think you'll get it? He's got a first down right at midfield. Tom, first and ten. Pitch back. Fumble. Covered by Jim Long. Reggie Kinlaw comes up with the football, and he's going to take it off the field with it, I think. Certainly did. There goes Kenny King slashing through to the 34-yard line. Thomas Lott, who's played all the way at quarterback, sends King in motion. There's a penalty marker down. Back failed illegally in motion. He's in his fifth year. Here's Lott keeping it up to put it inside. And he is just short of the first down as he, third down and a foot. And Lott falls over the, the pile up there and makes the first down. First down and 10 for the Sooners at the Nebraska 32. Oh, look at that hole. And it closes quickly as Billy Sims races through and gets to the 27-yard line. I mean, to get one or two, but to have as many as they have. Oh, there's a marker down as Kenny King gets almost to, to the point of a first down. Jeff Carpenter making the stop. <laughs> Second down, 11. Peacock tries to swing outside. Good defensive play. All right, it's third down on 11. about to the 29-yard line. Lee Koontz making the stop on the kick. All right, here's Von Schaumann, a 45-yard field goal attempt. It's up. It looks good. He's got it. Uh, against the win, Uva Von Schaumann boots it through. Boy, he'll never forget that magic moment in his life 
against Ohio State back on the 24th day of September when with three seconds to go, his team trailing by two, he gave him that victory. Now he puts his team up 24 to seven over Nebraska. Thank you, Tom. Good game, Jimmy Lake, for all of your good wishes. Out of bounds it goes at the nine yard line. Oklahoma leading this for 24 to seven now with eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Both going down to Curtis Craig. He gets to the 27, and that's all. First and 10, the ball on the 28-yard line. Nebraska trailing by 17 points. Sorley pitches it out. Hip, cut down. Ball on the 30-yard line. Rick Burns has gone to the lineup now in place of him. So. Sorley gets it over the line to Spade. First down now for Nebraska. They're trailing 24 to 7. Ball on the 44-yard line. And now the handoff goes back to the man. And a pass goes to Curtis Taylor. The quarterback handed off to Burns, who handed it back to him. Like Terry Peters might have gotten in there just a shade late, but nothing uh, was called. Rick Burns stopped. He just got his nose over that midfield stripe. It goes to Rick Burns. Goes to the 45. Has a first down at the 44-yard line. First down. All of the 43 and a half yard line of the Sooners. I am hip is back in the lineup. Inside handle. Goes to Curtis Craig. Yeah, you know, it's Kenny Brown who's in there in place. Four minutes 44 seconds to go. Third quarter. Sooners of Oklahoma on top, 24 to 7. And off goes to I am hip. Boy, he's frustrated today. He just cannot shake that one leg loose as Oklahoma has 24 points. Nebraska has seven. It's a third and six, the ball on the 39 yard line. Sorley. Beleaguered and dropped at the 45 yard line by Daryl Hunt. Number 11. See the way that ball was snapped back there? It's like a bull. Nebraska ate up almost five minutes on the clock, but they couldn't score. That really does hurt, especially when you're down by 17. First and 10 for Oklahoma. Once again, Elvis Peacock. Now they've got nine yards and two feet. Second down and a foot. There it is again. Elvis Peacock. For the Sooners today, they have the ball and they have the lead. We're in the third quarter with time running out. 2.25 to go. Up to the 49-yard line as David Overstreet, number 22, carries average of the Texas A&M Texas game. Thomas Locke fumbled the ball and picked it up and still got a yard and a first down. How about that one? Kenny King is a junior. Ooh, there's a good hit. Second down, about eight. And it's short of a first down for Jaime Melendez. Third down, two and a half to go. Great hit, and Lott shrugs it off and gets back to the 40. NCAA College Football, Nebraska-Oklahoma game will continue after station identification. Those are the cumulative statistics for the game through three quarters of play, but significantly in the third quarter, Oklahoma had 107 yards rushing and Nebraska had seven. All right, Ove Van Schaman has come into the lineup. He has put the tee down at the 46 and a half yard line. And on fourth down and two, it looks as if the Sooners are going to try for what a, will amount to a 56 and a half yard field goal. There's the angle from the end zone. They're leading it 24 to seven. We're underway with the fourth quarter and the kick is on its way. It is long enough. It is wide. It is wide to the right. To the left, I mean. Well, this has been a great Thanksgiving holiday for these fans. 71,148 turning out for this one. Tom Sorley, the quarterback, pitching it back. On the reverse, he hands the ball off. Coming wide is Curtis Craig, and he is pulled down from behind at the 38-yard line by Mike Babb, number in the backfield. First down, 18-yard gain on that play. Here's Sorley. He's got a man free. Hits him with it, but not for much at the 41-yard line. Nebraska came back to make it 14-7. Then it was 21-7 and now 24-7. I am hip. 
Loss on the play. Back to the 37-yard line. Third down and 11. Here goes Kenny Brown in motion. Sorley back to pass. The rush is on. He hits his man. Over the center of the line is Ken Spate, the tight end. Sorley is seven in a row on his passes. He needs this one. Fourth and one. It may have been too much time. There's a marker down. That's it. Delay a game against Nebraska. Short kick. And it's touched by an Oklahoma player. A marker goes down. Lee Hover was back. I don't know. Did he? I didn't see it. Did he call for a fair catch? He didn't. It was in the shadows there, and I couldn't see it. Nebraska interfered with his ability to make the catch. They ran right into him. Yeah, Hover was signaling. I saw that. 45 wins in five years for Tom Osborne. Here's Watt. Close to a first down. Pitch back goes to Kenny Brown. He's got a hole. Slices through and then is cut down. I'm sorry, it's meant to David Overstreet. Second down and five. They've been up against an awesome football machine today. Elvis Peacock powering his way to the 30-yard line. A lot of implications here. 22 first downs for Oklahoma. And once again, Elvis Peacock gets the ball inside the 25-yard line at the 23. Kenny King in motion. Through the middle goes Peacock. Close to a first down. Elvis Peacock. 389 yards on the ground. Oh, look at this. Overstreet. Touchdown. David Overstreet from the 19-yard line. Sprinted into the secondary. Took off. And goes in the score, and he is now 30 to 7. Place old Elvis Peacock next year. Well, that overstreet is something. Look at him here on the belly. They rode the fullback in. There's the lead box block by Peacock. Great block, and he cuts it back overstreet. Just breaks the tackle. He wants six points. He's not going to be denied. Looks like the Sooners will be playing in Miami. Day after New Year's. It's good. 31 to 7. Eight minutes and 50 seconds to go in the ball game. And the awesome Sooners of Oklahoma are leading Nebraska. All right, here's Uwe Von Schaman. Craig and Brown are back. It's Brown at the six. Ooh. Very fast coverage by Oklahoma. Puts him down on the 12. Really wasn't a loser there. Michigan goes to the Rose Bowl, Ohio State to the Sugar Bowl. Today, it looks like uh, it'll be Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl, but Nebraska has a bowl trip ahead, too. Second down, about nine. Here's the pitch to Curtis Craig. He swings wide, has two blockers, but he's on the short side. Ooh, did you see wow. that block? <laughs> Curtis Craig leads all the Nebraska runners today. Six carries, 73 yards. First down. All right, back to passes. Garcia throws to the sideline. He's got a man. It's intercepted by Henderson. His second interception of the day. And this free safety of the Sooners carries it down to the 34-yard line. Going to cost the Huskers for a personal foul, 15 more down to the 19-yard line. And Billy Sims with a marker down goes to the 15. Between the Sadat and Megan this past week in the interview that Mark. Dean Blevins, number two, has gone into quarterback for Oklahoma. Back to pass, and he's got his man. Touchdown. Victor Hicks, the tight end, the big fella. Gets his wish. He gets a TD. How'd you like to have a tight end that weighs 237 pounds and stands six three and a half? He's kind of happy, I'll tell you that. Boy, 
but what a way for Dean Blevins to come into that ball game, his first play out of the box, and he makes that bootleg fake and throws a touchdown pass to Victor Hicks. Now he's playing a little peas porridge hot there with Ron Shaman. Puts it up, his record is still good. Good, perfect. Let's say on extra points. Dean Blevins, who threw that touchdown pass. Steve Rose there next to him. He's the split end. Not the one who caught the pass. No home appearance of the Sooners. Oklahoma has scored on three of the four turnovers today, and that has been pretty much the story of this ball game. As Kenny Brown dances his way back to the 30, knocked out of bounds, double teamed at the 33 or 34 yard line. Right, Oklahoma with 408 on the ground, Nebraska with 189 yards, and back to pass. Sorely incomplete. I know you'll enjoy it. Here's Burns. Firing complete to Spade. Don't forget tonight, USC and UCLA. UCLA wins it. They play Michigan in the Rose Bowl. SC wins it. Washington goes to the bowl. Uh, this one is overthrown. And there's Jimmy Ward going through the line, number 25. But uh, apparently it, that was it in its entirety. Third down and seven. And it's short of a first down as Dufresne, after missing uh, two, he completed seven in a row. And this one is complete and a first down at the 38-yard line by Junior Miller, number 89. And there's the Nebraska fight zone. Far side. And Burns being chased. Shrugs it off and is hit before he can deliver the ball. George Cumbie. Vessels who won it 25 years ago for Oklahoma. And Steve Owens who won it in 69. Rather unusual. And two in the side of one game. And there's the third interception. And dropped by Basil Banks, number 17. Tim Smith was the intended receiver, but he held it long enough. There's an interception and a fumble, which was recovered by the Sooners. I don't know how many uh, fumbles early in the first three games, but they developed some concentration, which they said led for this game, Arizona, Arizona State, and Grambling and Southern. Here's Buddy Nixon, return leader in the Big Eight, getting a chance on offense out of that wishbone to the 21-yard line. That's all that's remaining of this one. Billy Sims, the carrier. I agree with you 100% there, Bill. Uh, I don't know who's better, but I'll tell you, if they are, they've got to be a great football team because Oklahoma is great. That's Timmy Worth. Yes. Pretty well split. David Overstreet had the 19 yards in there. All right, back to pass. Burns throws out of bounds. So the Nebraska defense will be tested. Inside handoff. Now, well, a lot of juking, but not much forward progress. Two minutes, nine seconds to go. Third down, six. On the draw, hip. Buckled at the 43. Very close to a first down. Ed Burns, the quarterback. Walk down and a foot to go. And the handoff goes to I am hip, who has the first down. Here's Ed Burns. Fires to the sideline, incomplete. Of the Pitt Penn State game, we have the Army Navy game. Some uh, sections of the country will see Southern and Grambling. Everybody will see the coverage live. Interference against the Sooners. And a first down, of course, automatically. Ed Burns back to throw. He's got his man on the sideline and he can't hold it. Oh, that's right, there was a... Um... Boy, he has been awesome today. Hard to pick, though. Incomplete. Back to pass is Ed Burns being tugged at. Can't find any place to go. Down he goes to the 41-yard line. And it's been a great football game, but... 
Oklahoma just had too many guns for Nebraska today. Now you say, well, why punt here? Well, there's always a chance for a fumble to make it a little more respectable, but the game, of course, is out of reach. As this one goes down, bounces on the 10-yard line, and the clock is ticking away with every bounce of the ball. Stops with three seconds to go, and the Sooners will take over the football. On to the orange ball in Miami. Three seconds to go. They'll just kill the clock. And that is it. And so the Sooners carry off a hard-earned 38-7 victory over a dogged, determined Nebraska team that simply couldn't handle the power and the speed today of the Oklahoma Sooners. And Barry is looking anxiously on this side of the field to try to find Tom Osborne to wish him well in the Liberty Bowl. And I'm sure Tom wishes Barry Switzer well in the Orange Bowl. Well, they're whooping it up in Norman, and well, they should. Their team has performed proudly today beating the Cornhuskers of Nebraska 38 to 7. And as the fans try to soak up the last bit of sunshine and glory, the Oklahoma band is on the field, the pride of Oklahoma, and they'll be serenading the fans here in their post-game show. <laughs> well, the Sooners waited until two seconds of the second quarter to score, but from then on, it was all Oklahoma. Nebraska tried gamely. Made it 14 to 7, but that was the last that Nebraska could score. And from there on, it was 24 unanswered points. And it wound up Oklahoma 38, Nebraska 7. Let's get a final word with Rick Forzano. What do you think, Rick? Uh, just uh, it's better than defense. watching it at home, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, even though it's 38 to 7, it was a fine ball game. It was just great to be here, Bill, and to see this Oklahoma football team with its speed. When they talk about speed, well, I'll tell you, no one, Oklahoma takes a backseat to no one in that. Overall team speed, unbelievable. The executive producer of NCAA football is Drew Arlen. Today's coverage of the Nebraska-Oklahoma game was produced by Joe Assetti, directed by Larry Cam, technical director Joe Nisi, associate director Carol Letty. This is Bill Fleming along with Rick Porzano saying so long from Owen Field in Harmon, Oklahoma. Be with us again tonight when the Trojans of USC meet the Bruins of UCLA in a must-win game for the Bruins to assure them a bid for the Rose Bowl. Also tonight, Arizona and Arizona State, McNeese State in southwest Louisiana. Regional coverage tonight beginning at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Then tomorrow at 12.30 Eastern, it's doubleheader action. Penn State battling Pittsburgh to determine who is the best on the East Coast, followed by the classic Army-Navy game. Portions of the South will see the Grambling Southern game. NCAA College Football, Nebraska against Oklahoma, has been brought to you by Goodyear, the makers of Tiempo Steel Belted Radio. A new kind of tire for every kind of weather. Keep it on, season after season. By the investment firm of E.F. Hutton and Company. When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. And by Rolades for acid indigestion. Rolades. Rolades spells relief. Consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. Travel arrangements paid through and a promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United built the largest airline in the free world around you. Once again, the final score. Oklahoma 38, Nebraska 7. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports. Recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.